Good morning and thank you very much. Um, thank you to WSU for hosting this beautiful um, cam on campus and it's so exciting to see hum so many great things happening here at WSU. I, I do want to recognize my colleague, Councilmember Brandon Johnson. This is his district we're in and he, he's very active up here in District 1 as well as the rest of the city. So thanks Brandon for attending this morning and thanks for all you do for the city. So we have a couple of exciting announcements this morning to discuss and some amazing joint ventures. WSU is a tremendous community partner and we're happy to work with them to support the needs of their students and their staff. I'd like to welcome up Transit Director Mike Tan to discuss a new partnership to, to support transportation needs of the campus. Mike? Uh, I'd like to speak briefly about something that um, I know I speak for everyone at Wichita Transit. We are extremely honored that we have been able to forge this partnership and relationship with Wichita State. Uh, it's something that we've worked on and thought about for a while and uh, we really feel that this is something that is going to benefit the university and the citizens of Wichita and the transit system for many, many years to come and will continue to grow. We see this as a relationship that uh, this is just the beginning, this is just the infancy. Some of the things to, that are going to be brought to bear, um, the first of which being probably the most important, is that through this partnership, every student, faculty, and staff member that, is, that has a Wichita State identification badge will be able to access all of public transportation in the city of Wichita. Right now that currently covers 14 hours of service on a daily basis in almost all of the entire urbanized area of the city of Wichita. Besides that, we are actually creating a, a route that is going to, again, assist the students that live on campus and also the students that commute every day. Um, I'll copy what, what Bryant had said uh, college is not inexpensive. It is very expensive. And some of those costs are incurred in transportation. And our job in public transportation is to provide an economical way to get to and from school, to get from school to employment, for, to get from school to places of entertainment or uh, places of uh, to, to go shopping or just to enjoy what Wichita has. And that's the, one of the things that we see as a tremendous advantage of this um, relationship, whether it is staff or faculty or the students. The other, the other aspect of what we're going to do uh, is we're going to provide a connection on Friday and Saturday evening for students, if they so choose, to go and take, care, and take advantage of some of the things that are going on in downtown Wichita. Um, as most people know, we run the queue um, on a daily basis. But we'd like to be able to see opportunities for students to be able to access that area and be able to do it safely and under, under the control of the university from the standpoint of, of what we do and, wh and when we do it. Uh, I also, we also want to see that partnership between the citizens of Wichita to be able to use that same system to come to Wichita State and see what's here on campus. Take advantage of the things that are here and take in some of all these things that, that Wichita State is doing, both for the community and for the students that are here. And we're very, very proud to be part of that. And I'm hoping every year we're standing up here in front of the students and telling them uh, what, the, what the improvements are for this year coming up. It's, exciting, it's an exciting time for us, and we hope that that excitement exists for uh, Wichita State as the kids get back to school here very shortly. Thank you, Mike. And, and the council and I are focused on the transportation needs of our community, and this is a strategic next step to increasing the robust transit services in our city. So we have a racial healing event, and our next topic will, will include the great community partners working together to benefit the community. On January 22nd, at the All Amer Mid-American All Indian Center, starting at 6 p.m., we are inviting the community to come together to increase understanding, communication, caring, and respect. This event will include musical performance, poetry readings, art, and cultural performances, as well as a great open dialogue. The city is proud to support this event. At this time, I'd like to welcome up 
LaShonda Garns, Community Development Manager with the Division of Diversity and Community Engagement. We are excited to partner with the City of Wichita on this initiative of racial healing within our community. This initiative aligns with the aim that WSU has to be the home of acceptance and empowerment. It also aligns with the dynamic programming that we support throughout the year, which ranges from speakers, film showings, award ceremonies, cultural festivities, LGBTQA programming. These are all just small pieces of the dynamic diversity that we see on our campus on a daily basis. The Division of Diversity and Community Engagement also works daily to empower and mobilize our students and the community to promote safe and diverse experiences and the sharing of those experiences collectively. So we are excited to be a part of this effort. We are excited that the city has invited us to be a part of the community engagement effort to really grow the understanding, the communication, and the care and support of one another. This is a critical conversation for our community. We are excited about the partnership, and we look forward to the great progress we'll make as a partner in this effort. So thank you to Vice Mayor Bluebach, to Council Member Johnson for their leadership on this effort, and we look forward to the great work that we'll do together. A core pillar of the value of the City of Wichita's organization is to support a dynamic and inclusive community. I want to thank all of the organizations who have put together these events, including WSU, Beyond Tolerance Wichita, Global Faith in Action, the Mid-American All Indian Center, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, of the, and the Greater Wichita Ministerial League. With that, we'll take any questions. The, que the question was the Friday and Saturday night. Uh, it, it is a uh, extension of the queue line. So the queue line extension will come up hillside and then circle the campus and then go back down hillside. So it's actually an extension of our current existing service on Douglas uh, to access and bring access up to here. So for the same hours, uh, it's going to be on Friday, Saturday from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Yes, sir. I have a question about the day of racial healing. Okay. Uh, racial healing takes place 365 days a week, but a day is a good start. Uh, I'm just curious, what are the initiatives or what are, what are we planning on accomplishing from that day? LaShonda, do you have more on that? So the initial day, it's really about starting the conversation and making sure we have the space to be creative in talking about the issues that we face with racial healing. The other initiatives will be a growing partnership in us identifying how do we address this conversation, how do we have it in a safe place, and how do we be inclusive of all of the different experiences that have happened. So we are working with the city of Wichita to really design an activity and engagement opportunity that would allow us to hear from all diverse voices in very unique and positive ways. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Um, so, with, it, with the partnership for this new transit deal, is the university contributing something or is yes. it all city cost? What do you think? No, there, w there was a financial commitment from the university. This is a financial partnership. Can you explain the details of that? Um, I would probably leave that to, to WSU to explain the, the details of it with regards to that, how that's working out on their end. Any other questions? All right. Thank you guys very much, and everybody have a great rest of your week and rest of your weekend, and look forward to seeing as many of you can on Monday. Thank you.